Okay, so I figured I'd make a quick video on a hard drive analysis tool I found on Linux. It's for free, of course. It's called G Smart Control. And it's in the standard Linux Kubuntu Software Center. So we're going to pull up the Software Center. And we're going to search for G Smart. It's the only option. I already have it installed, of course, so my only option is remove, but you will obviously have an install button. So once you have it installed, we're going to go ahead and pull it up. You're going to search for GSmart. It's the only option. And of course, since it's reading the disk, we need to give it our administrative password. And it's going to scan the system for a few seconds and show you all the hard drives you have. So I have four hard drives here. This unknown model is actually an external hard drive. It's not reading it for some reason. I don't know if that's just an error with all external hard drives. I did also plug a USB drive into it. It was actually able to read that, but it could only pull the model and serial number and size of the disk. It didn't give you any of the smart data. That's probably because the smart system doesn't really run on USB drives. So we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at these four hard drives since we have those operational. These two here that say ST1000, one of those is the hard drive that my Linux operating system is running on, and the other one is my backup or my primary Steam library. These other two here, this Hitachi, is an old hard drive I found from 2007, so that's going to be interesting to see the results of that test. And this ST916 is from an old PS3 I dug out and plugged into my PC. So we'll check out these newer hard drives first. All you have to do is double click on the one you're interested in. I think when you boot it up at first it runs a really quick test on all the drives. But as you can see here, it shows the model, serial number, capacity, all that. This attributes tab is where it gets down to the details. One of the most important things to look at is the reallocated sector count. And you can hover over each of these and it gives you an explanation of what each means and what the good values are. So an interesting thing to look at too is the power on time. As you can see, this is 1100 hours. I already checked the one from my hard drive from 2007. It's about 12,000. And I'll, we'll take a look at, the, at that after I go through these other tabs here. The self-test tab, I performed one of these, so we'll take a look at that. It basically gives you exactly what's on the first tab there, just in a text format, so you can copy and paste this and keep track of it. You can run this every week or every month, and you can get pre-indicators of if your hard drive is going to fail or not. That's one thing you have to remember about this. It, does, it will not fix hard drive errors. It only reports them and reads the data from the smart the smart device built into the hard drive. To actually repair the hard drive or correct faults, you actually have to download a program. The one I like to use is called Spinrite. It's about 60 or $70. That's the best one I've found that actually works. So the self-test, there's actually two options. There's a short self-test, and if you read the notes here, it says its main purpose is to detect is to detect totally damaged drives without running the full surface scan. So it's only going to pull up something wrong if it's if there's something dramatically wrong with the hard drive. To do a more comprehensive self-test, you want to click Extended, and of course that dramatically increases the duration of the test, but that would be a better test to run if you're worried about pre-failure indicators. So that's our newer hard drive. We'll check out the these two older hard drives. So this is the one from 2007. It's a 320 gigabyte. We'll check the attributes here. And as you can see, like I mentioned before, this runtime or the power on time is ridiculous. It's 12,000 hours. If you figure the typical work week is a, a little over, or the typical work year is a little over 2,000 hours, that's about what? six something years of runtime so it's kind of ridiculous and from what I can see here it looks like it's still pretty healthy all things considered 
I also ran a self-test on this. We'll check the output here. It says smart overall health assessment test passed, but that really doesn't mean anything. To get a full view of what's actually wrong, we probably have to run the extended self-test, but I don't really care about this drive and I don't feel like waiting 94 minutes to see if there's anything wrong with this drive. I'm probably gonna trash it anyways. So the last drive I want to check out is this old PS3 hard drive. It's a Seagate Momentus, 160 gigabyte. We'll check the attributes and see what the power on time is. 793. It's actually not that high. I think what happened when I bought the PS3, I actually swapped out this hard drive after about a year or two because it only came with 160 gigabytes and I wanted a lot more space. So let's check the self-test for this one. Of course, it's not going to tell us much because it only ran the two-minute test. I'm curious what the extended self-test is going to run. It's only 50 minutes, but again, this is an old hard drive. I don't really care about it, and I'm not going to wait 50 minutes to run a more comprehensive test on the hard drive. So that should be about it. Like I mentioned before, you have to make sure this... This tool is good to run just to check your hard drives if you actually want to repair them or if something goes wrong. What you can do, if you click this attributes tab, if something is going wrong, it will actually highlight these different rows in different colors. It'll go from yellow or red if something is catastrophically wrong with your hard drive. So that should be about it. Thanks for watching.